Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk back again with another project for you and this time using the needle and thread um, stamp set um, and uh, really this one is all about um, a very quick and easy card. So actually what I've used for my card base are the large um, Memories and More cards and envelopes. Um, so uh, those are four and a half by six and a half inches, so 11 by 16.5 centimetres, fold in half. They come with envelopes, so really quick and easy. Um, and then I've used the sort of stitching effect um, and sentiments from this stamp set, along with some of the fabulous designer series paper that uh, is in the Needlepoint Nook Suite. Um, and the beauty of this is it's actually sort of photographic images of embroidery. So if you've got someone who's into embroidery, this is the perfect stamp set and a great way to make a very quick card. So without any further ado, take one of the note cards, um, which is dead easy because that's already prepped for you. So it's already scored as well. So all you need to do is just fold in half and reinforce that crease. Then we'll do some stamping. And then before we uh, before we do too much of that, I'm actually going to do some um, cutting of those layers. And they are so quick and easy to do. Um, I'm using Flirty Flamingo just because it's a lovely colour and really uh, br bright and fun colour. Um, and it comes as part of our Brights range. Um, so it, it matches, obviously coordinates with our card stock as well um, the colours in the DSP so that's uh, that's my inspiration for um, choice so uh, this is already pre-cut at five inches um, no it isn't <laughs> I'm lying okay so it doesn't cut at five inches so I'm going to cut a piece at five inches and then I'm going to cut um, again at one and a quarter inches So that's my piece of DSP. Only a tiny scrap. Great card for using up just scraps of uh, designer series paper. You're going to cut your floaty flamingo at five inches as well. And first of all, you're going to cut a piece that is just half an inch wide off that. And that's our little strip for the middle. And then you're going to cut a large piece, which is one and a half inches. So all, wherever you can, always cut your smaller piece. I can't quite, there you go. Um, always cut your smaller piece off your large off your large piece, particularly when you're doing narrow bits. So that is all the cutting we're going to do. And these layers are obviously very quick and easy to put together. Just butt that up against one end, just an even border. Okay. This is probably the trickiest bit, which is the, the stamping of the thank you. So this is where I'm I'm not good. I'm not great at doing um, <laughs> um, at keeping things. So what I'm going to do is literally just put a tiny bit of glue on either end, and that's going to help me keep that in place. Okay. I take my ink. Uh, remember the new ink pads open easily by pressing both thumbs on the back, flip and slide. And I've already put my thank you sentiment on here. So. I am going to come along and hopefully okay just about <laughs> just a little bit off at the end um, what you could always do is make it slightly longer and trim it down that probably would have been a better idea but hey I didn't think of that well not till now anyway uh, so on you come with a little bit of tape and this is just to make it as flat as possible. So if you're popping it in the post, um, it isn't going to um, take it up into sort of thick letters. So I've made that really narrow, so you really get the effect of that lovely um, paper behind. Now we're going to come in with our um, card. And I'm using the lovely image. Um, of this st stitched image here and you'll see what I've actually done is I've just stamped that a couple of times starting on the right hand side so there is no stuff what, what I'm going to do is just line that up you probably can't see it I'm just going to line that up across the middle and I'm going to kind of come 
if I imagine this one, I'm going to come towards the top half of it. And because it's hidden behind, it doesn't matter if any of it's slightly wonky. As it happens, I seem to have done a reasonable job of that. And then all we're going to do is pop that over the top there. Again, we're, going to, we're not even going to use dimensionals on this today because we've already got some layers to give some dimension to it. So all we're going to do is just pop that on the bottom there. And I'm going to come in. I do have to close my ink pads because I'm dreadful of getting ink all over myself and everything else. And I'm just going to pop that, echo that on the, corn, on the corner there. And I'm going to do the same. You'll see I've done the same on the envelope already. So I've just taken that across that edge and you do that by just opening out the flap of the envelope. And the best thing to do is try and get it fairly central. Do your central one and then work out from that one. There you go. And you could even pop it on the corner there as well. So, there you have it. One envelope, one quick card. Just got to reinforce the crease on that one. And in seconds, in under five minutes, you've got a quick card to uh, send out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit my blog and uh, click on the links if you'd like to buy the, some products from me. I'd be really delighted if you chose to use a demonstrator. Um, and if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Flutterbyheidi.co.uk. Come back and see me again soon. Bye now.